saves life. Mm. But in, in, in the direction of where I'm headed right now, <clears throat> I'm no longer saving lives physically, but I'm saving them mentally. You see, so that's I'm still on the true. same path. Mm. That's, that's why I'm pushing so hard because this is where I feel I want to be helping people, protecting yeah. people's minds, you know, giving them hope, giving them inspiration. Yeah. I mean, someone listening at home or someone maybe, you know, um, in the firefighting field right now thinking, you know what, I really like this, but I just don't understand how you merge firefighting with modeling and, and pageants. What, what's the biggest lesson that you feel you've learned in being a firefighter that like you are seeing yourself now applying in this world of um, modeling? Um, I would say structure. Mm. You know, um, with, with firefighting, there's something they call um, a firefighting character. It's basically um, a code that you uphold. Okay. So the code, I remember when I was studying it, it was there's a lot of a few values that they underline, which is integrity, and pride, work ethic. You know what I mean. Um, so within modeling, it's it's in line with that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to be a model, um, if you're going to be an ambassador for something, you have yeah. to have integrity in how you do your your work. You have to have work ethic um, because the more work you put into your your body, you know, um, the more it can showcase um, you as a product. Yeah. And that's how I also align the values. But at the same time, I know that I'm, I'm not trying to teach models to devalue themselves, but rather value themselves more, mm -hmm. um, in a sense. Because, you know, when it, when, it, when it comes to modeling, it's very objective at times. So my aim through my company and what I've been currently trying to do is to build the, the, the values within the models. To not have them focus so much on the outer exterior, but yeah. more so on the inner exterior. Yeah. Because that's where the beauty comes from. I'll give you an example. Any person, any person can become ripped or look really good. Yeah. You know? Any person can do that. But it, it depends on the mind state. You see, a mind state can take years to change, but a body can take six months, six months. three months. So once you change the mind state, then the body can follow afterwards. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's basically it. That's so powerful. Thank you so much. So, okay, I've heard, I read that you also entered Mr. South Africa 2022. Yes. 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 It's been quite a ride. Yeah. And it's been a ride with BMW Shelly Beach, that's for sure. Shout out to BMW Shelly Beach. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, um, it's been good. It's been overwhelming at times, uh -huh. you know, um, with all of, with everything that's currently taking place because this is uh, a very high platform, um, yeah. a lot of attention, a lot of supporters, a lot of um, weight that you carry, um, but as I said, that I don't do it alone, I've got a team, mm. so as much as people may see me in the front line, you know, you always have to have the right team, the right people behind you. Yeah. And without them, I would not be here when I'm sitting with you. Yeah. You know, without you, I would not be here either. So, everybody that is currently in my life that's playing this role, that is a supporter, is with me. And mm. we win together. It's not me winning Mr. South Africa. It's we all winning Mr. South Africa. Yeah. So, in that sense, yeah, that's, that's how this journey has been. It's... For me, I've had to, to go to, to partners and to, to, to propose some deals as to, okay, guys, this is what my vision is. Mm. And as I said to you, vision is wrong, and, you know. Um, and they believe in the vision. And that vision for me, so I started off with saying to them, guys, our men need help. Our men need identity. That's true. You know, um, we need a, a place for them to, to talk and to be able to, to communicate. Yes. So, funny enough, me being born as a mixed race um, man, I can be in all cultures at once. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can, I'm the bridge between a Zulu and a, a Muslim or 
a, a colored kind of white person. I'm a bridge mm. because I understand. I can I can bring everybody to the table and sit them down and say, guys, let's talk. Because in order for us to to understand manhood as men, we need to sit down and listen to each other. And if we listen to each other and explain to each other, okay, this is what my culture says about manhood. Yes. And this is what my culture says. We're going to find an answer throughout all of those those answers that are given. Yeah. And in that, that is where our identity lies. And that is what my job is. That's why I'm here. Mm, I was just about to ask you, like, what would your mission or the top three things in your mission, um, what would those top three things be should you, or when you, rather, win Mr. South Africa? Well, my first mission, right, is start at home. You know, you first have to sort out your house before you go someplace else. Sure, charity so my, at home. So my house is South Africa. This is my home. So I start off with teaching young men, young boys, how to build good relationships hmm. with their community and with each other. That's my job right now. That's yeah. why I'm currently going from school to school, speaking to kids, teaching them about manhood, uh, with my initiative called I Am Man. Yeah. Right. My second, my second goal is to go overseas and to bring people here so that we can create employment for our people. Mm. You know, um, especially on the lower south coast, especially here, because we know right now with our youth, there's a massive issue yeah. with unemployment. Yeah. So I want people to see what a South African man looks like you know, and what a South African man can bring them. Mm. You know, so that they can see what we truly are because we are beautiful, all of us. Our women, our men, our children. Yeah. Right. So they need to see that. They need to see the creativity. And that's my plan um, to get them here. Because relationships are important. Yeah. You know, we can't do it alone. We need each other at the end of the day. Yeah. Wow, that is, that's beautiful. I'm feeling so inspired. And I know probably the listeners at home are thinking, yo, this can't be the end of it. This interview cannot be the last time I hear of Darian mm -hmm. Langenhoven. So where can the people find you on social media and keep in tune with your story and your journey? Okay, so we are currently running a project called um, the Kakaza 90 Day Challenge. Okay. So this 90 Day Challenge is basically a body transformation with my group um, of men that I have. And um, so we are on Facebook. Uh, it's called About the Man. You can find us on our page there. Okay. So there, there you will see episodes of us um, roaming um, Margate, the lower south coast, going to beach to beach and just running and just talking about men's health and maybe having an interview here and there. Nice. So you can find that on our About the, About the Man page. You can find um, my page or my um, Facebook at Darian Langanoven as well. And that's my Instagram as well. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's basically the social media platforms that we are working on. I just want to mention um, mm -hmm. that we currently did do a challenge for a store called Hershey's Store. Okay, I've heard of Precious. Yeah, yeah, and we did an advertisement for them. Um, my guy, the Sia, the Plus, he was the one that was working with me with this advertisement. Um, nice. And we won it. And, uh, we Shout won. out to Sia, the Plus. Yeah, <laughs> we won that advertisement and we also won a microwave. Um, it's oh, the new, so the latest cool. microwave that they that they gave us. Yeah, I so. see. Yeah. Worth it. Yeah. So <laughs> worth we've got a strong team. You Beautiful. Know? But without your support, we need your support, you know, um, to move forward, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of support, now that you've entered Mr. South Africa 2022, we need to get you to, to first position. And yeah. the people at home need the instructions from the horse's mouth and how they can go about getting you to that first position. So what do they have to do? Okay, so what they basically need to do is just, um, they'll have to SMS MRSA, Mr. South Africa, number 11, okay. right, to the number 40439. Okay. So any um, amount of SMSs is welcome, um, they can SMS as many times as they want, um, it's two rand per SMS, okay. and then also what I want to say is that, unfortunately, your free SMSs do not work. So, um, that yeah, is. that's basically how you can um, vote, and voting is one of the most important parts of my running for Mr. South Africa. So, yes. I kindly ask 
Please. Please. So, so let me repeat it just to make sure that I got it right. So it's MRSA, it's number 11, yes. and you SMS into 403. 40439. 40431. Nine. Nine. 40439. Okay, perfect. It's the RSA 11 is one word. Okay, so I'm, I'm hearing from, from the team that Mr. RSA is one word, guys. With the 11. With the 11. Mr. RSA 11. That 11 is very important. That 11 is very important, okay. <laughs> do, um, do you want to come through and, and just emphasize that once again? Because we need to get those vo those votes. Okay, guys, um, so please vote for Darren Langenhoven. Um, you SMS Mr. SA, MRSA 11. So it's Mr. SA 11, and you SMS to 40439. Please, guys, Mr. SA 11, SMS that to 40439, vote as many times as you want, support our board. Thanks. No finger spaces, no underscores, no commas, apostrophes, nothing. One word, Mr. SA 11, and you can vote on 40439. Thank you so much for joining us. I am so blessed to be graced oh, by your presence you. and your team, and I'm really just crossing fingers, toes, legs, everything, <laughs> and praying that um, you get to that top position. And when you do, we're going to need you back. Okay, to say thank you. I <laughs> well done. You Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you so much. You have yourself a good day. And um, we wish you all the very best. Thank you, Amadli. Thank you so much, guys. It is Darian Langenhoven. If you missed it, girl, I don't know where you were, boy, you're going to have to catch it on our socials. And definitely do give Darian Langenhoven a follow. That's what we like. Who better, than to, uh, who better to tell us other than Bruno Mars?